Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, the Sniper! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of 19 wins, six losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Wilbur, Massachusetts, Rob Fox! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. You ready? You ready to fight? All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Them. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on, and tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their nose. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Get right here. Oh, straight right. Just misses there with the left. Good stick. A oh, little single collar tie there. And they separate. It's such a fast leg kick. Unable to land with that punch. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Oh, nice right hand. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. What a fan. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? You know when to hold, you know when to hold. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There is the tap. So he submits courtesy of the rear naked choke. That guy's got a squeeze on him. He does a great job securing the position, getting under the neck, and then hiding his hands in order to get the finish. Fantastic performance by this fighter.
He's done. He's done. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Well, you can tell he has been working hard on his submissions in his training camp. That was a near-perfect setup on that choke. Sunk it in deep, and the opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. He chose to tap out. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 3 minutes, 14 seconds of the very first round. To find the winner by a tap out, run! Ah! All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just